right, guys. So we're back on the toy hunt again today. We're going to be looking for some Avengers um, Endgame figures. I think Marvel Legends, it just came out. We're also looking for the Caliban wave in Marvel Legends, the X-Men wave in particular, the 90s X-Men featuring the Jim Lee Gambit, uh, Beast, Jubilee, and a bunch of other figures. So we'll see what we can find here at the mall. Um, not really expecting a whole lot, to be honest with you, right now. Uh, it's kind of barren a lot of toy story 4 figures clogging up the pegs unfortunately but we'll see what walmart has we'll see what toys r us has and we'll see what uh our local eb games has so hopefully we'll find something wish me luck we got some new dragon ball super dragon stars figures in piccolo that's pretty cool Kaba. Ooh, definitely want to pick up that Frieza. Piccolo, Piccolo, Gohan. What do you guys think? Oh, they got the new Infinity or Endgame figs in as well. Captain America in the Quantum Suit. $26. It looks really good. I'm tempted. Build a figure is Thanos, of course. Let's see what else they have. Yep, we got it in. Cap again. I saw the Ebony Maw as well online, which is pretty exciting. Ronin as well. Hmm. And Ebony Maw. It's, it's really tempting, guys. Like they got one full wave in here. There's Thanos. Oh, he looks amazing. Is that photo real? Looks like it. I just want the head. So big find here at EB Games, they got the Caliban wave just in, picking up Gambit, they also have one of these exclusives left, Infamous Iron Man, I believe it was Walgreens exclusive, and the Clone Trooper online exclusive vintage collection, <laughs> 41st Elite Co Corpse Clone Trooper, so I need to pick up that, I want to pick up one of these Dragon Ball Super Dragon Stars figures as well. Goku and Android 17. I'm gonna break the bank here today. Why did I walk in here? Scamp, but definitely want to pick up. Whew, I am gonna go broke. Got some interesting Funko Pop here as well, but I think we're gonna go all in on the figs today. Call it a day, I am gonna go broke. <laughs> Alright. This is pretty much it for EB Games. If I stay here for too long, I'm probably gonna go broke. I'm so happy you found these guys. Amazing. They have the whole Caliban wave here as well, except for um, except for Beast and Jubilee. Somebody already picked it up unfortunately, but damn, what a find on a Friday. At EB Games, first time seeing a detective. Pikachu, Mr. Mime, this looks very derpy. 
it's a whopping, it's almost 40 bucks, crazy. First time seeing plush from Detective Pikachu. We also have this Mewtwo here. That's posable. Alright, random find here at Walmart on clearance. The Battle of Mission on Vandor Solo 4-pack. Originally $50 here in Canada. 5 bucks. Five dollars. I mean, I. I'm definitely picking this up. What a fine! Five dollars. The Cura here is what we're really after, but um, this Han looks pretty cool as well. And this little guy as well. But damn, that Cura. We need a black series. We really need a black series version of Kira in his attire, but for five dollars? Picking this up. And it looks like they got some new Mashems. Toy Story 4. End cap as well. Got the glow in the dark. Don't know what that's about. Probably the bunny. And all the main characters. Series 1, so maybe these are Series 2. Oops. Look at the packaging. Let's put this back. Man. They really changed the cap so now it's like a ball. Copying the other blind bags, blind capsule toys out there like LOL. <laughs> it's not worth four bucks. The Pikachu stuff. What else? Star Wars section is dead as usual. Same old stuff. This Boba Fett here that I found weeks ago. There's now creases here on the top. Maybe some of the scalpers have reached to it, but let's see. Still wave one crap from the vintage collection. Surprised these things aren't going on clearance. Resistance, still the same thing. I'm gonna wait for clearance for these figs. Nothing new for Marvel Legends. I saw some of the Infinity War. Not Infinity War, um, Endgame Avengers merchandise at EB Games earlier, but no interest in picking it up. And the rest of this stuff is the same old stuff. But we're definitely picking up this Vandor set for $5 because, man, you know. This is, this is the best find I've ever had at this Walmart. <laughs> I'm happy I found it. All right, let's get out of here. Interesting here, they have some new cars, Mattel diecast vehicles. I haven't seen a Lightning McQueen like this before. They're pretty shiny. I have him already, Jackson Storm, but it looks like it's a new assortment. Cruz Ramirez, Dynaco. Pretty cool, pretty cool, mate. I don't do cars reviews, but you guys want to see it, let me know. Interesting. Some new MGA crate creatures here. Blind bags, blind boxes, minifigures. Everyone seems to be doing these right now. We're at our local Walmart. Some fugglers. I hate this Walmart guy. It's filthy. Oh, what do we have here? Blind bags, minis, feisty pets, series one. So I guess it's a little collectible that actually changes faces as well, just like all the other feisty pets. I think you press down on this guy and he turns evil. These are cool when they came out, but for six dollars, definitely don't want to pick this up. Series one looks like there's got the monkey, the the bunny, the cat. There's a lion as well, which is pretty cool, and a unicorn. Toy 
Toy Story 4 figures are in at my local Toys R Us. Ducky, Bunny, Woody, Bunny. They look like this figure is good. $20 for four five inch figures. The Bo Peep looks pretty cool. Jesse, they only have two. Oh, there we go. I don't know, Rex as well. Bo Peep. Hmm. Basic figures are twelve ninety nine. This one's talking. Talking ones were a little bit more expensive. And there's a couple more things there at the top. Mini Carnival Rescue. How does this thing work? Like, how does it talk? There's Seems to be two different versions. Blast off one is. This stuff is. Oh, there we go. <laughs> but how does this guy talk? Hmm. Try me. Yeah, I have no idea how this guy talks. Just up. Let's get out of here because there's too many people. Alright, back at Toys R Us. Looks like there's more Toy Story 4 merchandise. And the end cap here as well. What is this? Imagine X removable space. It looks like a play set of some kind. Eh, a little too old for something like that, but... Here are those basic action figures again from Mattel. True talker. No, 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 you can't go. Something's just off with these figures, you know? The paint applications look really cheap. Okay, gotta get back. I gotcha. Okay, gotta get back. Hello, everyone. This is Sporky. I can't believe I'm talking to a Sporky. Articulation looks pretty cheap as well. I don't know, it's, it could be a clearance thing, 20 bucks. Shields to maximum. I have a laser and I will use it. I mean, for the price point, you shouldn't expect too much, but this buzz doesn't even come with a helmet. Which is disappointing. And no light ups as well. Basic looking doll. Pretty sure she's gonna be the villain. And posable Jesse with no sound effects. Hmm. $30 you can get the exact same figure there, along with Bullseye. And you can actually apparently pose them. I might I might be interested in this to display actually, because I don't know. But for thirty dollars, I don't know. <laughs> Looks like Bullseye's legs are articulated as well, but this stuff is expensive, man. Got some minis as well. What is this? A walking Buzz Lightyear. Where's Zerg when you need him? Got some more stuff over here. Oh, basic story pack with a slinky dog for eighty dollars. Wow. <laughs> well, let me know if you guys want to see Toy Story Four on the channel, guys. Uh, definitely looking forward to the movie, but man, some of this stuff is really expensive. <laughs> mm, the sale for Detective Pikachu plush toys already. Snubble looks pretty cute. There's sound as well. How do you how does this work? Try me with sound. 
Hmm. Let me see. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Pretty disturbing. Mewtwo. One of my favorites. How much are these plushies? Oh, there it is. Ryan Reynolds himself. Let's see how much this plush costs. About to see how much Ryan Reynolds costs. Mm, it's hard to do this with one hand. And he costs 40 bucks. Oof. Hey guys, so we're back from the toy hunt and I would say this is probably one of my most successful hunts ever. Uh, we found a lot of merchandise that we weren't really expecting. I just wanted to share with you guys some of the top picks that I found over the course of this haul. So at EB Games, I did find this first form Frieza, Dragon Stars figure by Bandai. Uh, when I saw him on the pegs, I immediately knew I had to pick him up. This guy, I've never actually seen a figure <clears throat> of the first form of Frieza before. We've seen a lot of uh, Final Forms, Golden Freezes in the past, but I don't think I've ever seen a first form Frieza before by Bandai um, that's super articulated as well. So I'm really, really excited to check him out, to do a review of him on the channel. Uh, he's part of this wave that includes the Super Saiyan 4 Dragon Ball GT Goku as well, which is very tempting, and also a Piccolo. Uh, I really thought about picking up the Piccolo and the uh, Android 17, but my funds are currently limited right now, so I just had to pass, but definitely first form Frieza, one of my favorite villains of all time, had to pick him up. Now as you... Now as you guys saw as well, at Walmart we also found this wonderful, beautiful Mission on Vandor Han Solo 4-pack. Um, we got them for $5. $5 on clearance from the original price of $45 Canadian, which is absolutely insane for five points of articulation figures, I would say. But it's a beautiful set. I love Solo, a Star Wars story. Hashtag make Solo 2 happen. I really wish there was a sequel to Star Wars, a Solo, Solo a Star Wars story. One of my favorite Star Wars films of all time. Um, but really, we've got Weevil here, an exclusive figure as part of this set only, and we got the exclusive 5 POA Kira as well. I really, really want a Black Series version of this Kira. Um, I think it's a must, and please Hasbro keep us one. But I'm super happy to have this four pack right now. Uh, for again for five dollars quite the steal quite the fine definitely a highlight of the toy hunt Amazon also had a clearance sale as well we picked this guy up for $17 or guys I should say crossbones the Marvel Legends 10 year 10th year anniversary crossbones and the Civil War version of the Marvel Legends Captain America looks really fantastic I think the price tag for this was like $60 when it first came up so uh, but happy I got these guys on sale $17 like I said um, I watched Endgame as well and I'm super happy I managed to finally pick up a Captain America figure because um, you know I definitely loved how Captain America showed up in the film and really looked super badass On a very quick note, we also found another battle droid. Um, this one from Amazon as well. These guys are going for a lot right now. Scalpers are going after these battle droids. Everyone wants to army build with these guys, and for good reason. Um, I'm planning to do a review for the battle droid as well coming up soon in another video, but I have two of these now. I think uh, it'd be good enough for now, but super excited to have another battle droid. And during my hunt as well at EB Games, I did pick up, mm -hmm, as you guys saw, Caliban Wave, Gambit. 
um, X-Men Caliban wave. Did not get a chance to pick up Jubilee. Did not get a chance to even find Beast at this point. Those are the two most sought after figures I would say in this wave, but I'm happy that Gambit was available because Gambit, especially this version, the Jim Lee Gambit from the early 90s, definitely one of my favorite X-Men other than Wolverine. I'm happy to do a review for Gambit coming up soon as well. It looks absolutely beautiful. Of course, we also found a Boba Fett finally on the pegs at a Walmart. Um, Boba Fett, aside from all the other archive figures, this is probably the most sought after uh, archive figure from Wave 1. All the other ones are kind of like peg warmers now, which is pretty surprising for me given what they were going for on the secondary market. I'm um, talking about figures like Boss, who's going for like $100 US at one point. Um, they're now just warming the pegs. Boba Fett, on the other hand, still selling pretty well. Happy to find one that it was pretty mint condition on the pegs. I don't know if I'll open them up, but I really, really want one loose as well. So we'll see, but happy to get the best bounty hunter to add to my Star Wars Black Series collection. As you guys saw in the video as well, we did find at EB Games Canada the exclusive Elite 41st Elite Corps Clone Trooper Vintage Collection line uh, from Hasbro. Didn't really expect to find this guy to be honest with you because he is an online retailer exclusive in the States and as we all know here in Canada, those things are really hard to find. But I'm super happy to find one that was somewhat, you know, mint. Not really. The card is kind of bent when I found it, but this was definitely the best looking um, figure on the pegs and you know I'm a sucker for clone troopers I definitely want to add more of these guys into my vintage collection line of figures I'm super happy we were able to pick him up definitely won't be opening him up as well because this you know all the vintage collection cards they have to be carded um, but it looks really good the helmet looks kind of kind of huge on him actually so I don't know about the proportions and everything but, you know, he's going straight into storage or on display, who knows, but happy to pick him up as well to add to my collection. And last but not least, here is a Lightning Edition, a new Hasbro line of Power Rangers toys, action figures. This is the Tommy White Ranger Mighty Morphin. Got him straight up from Amazon. Um, I love the packaging of this new Lightning Edition. Um, line of Power Rangers figures looks amazing I am definitely going to do a review of this guy as well this looks amazing like I said it very it looks comparable to the SH figure arts I would say um, really really impressive uh, job here by Hasbro it's gotten a lot of good reviews online already as I've seen and uh, once I do my review for Tommy the White Ranger I might actually end up picking up um, the Dino Thunder, Dino Thunder Red Ranger as well, and the SPD Wolf Ranger. I don't really follow Power Rangers anymore, but the one I really wanted to pick up in this first wave is, other than, other than Tommy of course, is Lord Zed. Lord Zed has been scalped to oblivion. I am talking about scalped to oblivion. So I'm hoping to be able to find him on a future toy hunt. Will we find them? Who knows? But tune in next time to find out. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and comment below on what your favorite pickups were from this toy hunt. We'll see you next time. May the toys be with you.